Good morning, folks. Today we've got space weather, earth weather, interesting cosmic news, and we've got clarification of some things that happened yesterday morning. First, we begin over at spaceweathernews.com, and while you can see a very calm last 24 hours on our star, note the crossing north portion of that coronal hole will hit us with its solar wind early this week. But the previous day had a number of small eruptions on the eastern Earth-facing hemisphere. Remember that when you turn around and look at the sun, east is left, west is right. None of these are visible on SOHO, so unless their CMEs are small, tight, and hiding behind the blocking disk, they didn't produce any. For sure, the sunspots on the disk aren't producing any solar flares, and there's no threat of magnetic complexity developing today. Even where those big CMEs went off that we saw in yesterday's news, we really don't see any umbral development. Solar wind speed in yellow, climbing this morning. This is due to an impacting coronal hole stream from the first northern extension already turning away to the right. The currently Earth-facing extension behind it should impact Earth's magnetic shield tomorrow night. While there are not currently any geomagnetic storms, the event is just beginning in the solar wind and a second whack in 36 hours or so could ramp up field disruptions like we already saw at the end of this past week. So folks, way too much confusion and accusations going on with yesterday's USGS upgrade of the PNG quake to 6.4 and our official call of a hit for our watch zone. Well, some folks online were looking at our latest alert map posting and said, hey, that map does not look like the Philippines' red line extends down much into Indonesia, let alone to Papua New Guinea and where the quake occurred. Accusations of fraud were even thrown about. However, amazingly, in this new millennium, Twitter has found a way to allow what they call comments or replies, I believe. And if you look at what happened over the following nine hours, you can see that the alert areas changed that night. The New Zealand up to Tonga Vanuatu Fiji area disappeared off our alert map entirely because it was easy to see that energy shifting northwest and joining the Philippines Earth Spot Alert to extend it just down past the western chunk of Papua New Guinea. And when we saw that energy shifting, forecasted an extension of the alert down exactly through where that big one struck 30 hours later. We're now 7 for 11 in forecasting time and location of magnitude 6 quakes and up. While the Earth spots are the only watches carrying into this week, one cannot ignore the foreshock potential at Greece. This area was put on alert last night due to their largest swarm in months. Hopefully the two dozen quakes there the last day will release all the pressure without causing much more than the minor damage reported already. Many of you likely know that the TW Hydra disk, with many concentric and empty rings, is what scientists believe are planets forming. They now think they've pinned one down to an icy Neptune or Uranus-like planet interesting read. Tragedy to report out of Ethiopia and it is ongoing. A major drought has strained food supplies in recent time but its end just brought too much rain and now the scramble for aid is on. The crops that were there badly hit. It's an extreme climate shift from one side to the other. Weather is brutal in parts of the northwest U.S. as well, with the former typhoon slamming the coastline. Love to get some weather shares from anyone local there. And if we're talking typhoons, we're waiting for word on how bad the Philippines got hit overnight, and while that one charges at Vietnam, another one swings in behind it. Yesterday, we posted two episodes of Deeper Look and our weekly Fly on the Wall podcast. We greatly appreciate all your support, folks. Really keeps everything going. And we'll keep going here with the rest of the world's weather, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.